Hey everyone, Catch em All Collectibles here. In today's video, I'm going to show you a little bit of the math behind how a box break would work, how it would look. Um, part of the reason I'm doing that is because I just so happened to have bought three booster boxes on Heritage. I've mentioned a little bit that I'm trying to cool it on the spending around this time of year. I've been spending a lot and it's the time to fund those IRAs and 401ks that I talked about a few videos ago, but... <laughs> I found myself on Heritage this past weekend. They had quite the block there, and you can see my three wins. Um, so I bought a Japanese Fossil Booster box, a first edition English Jungle, and a first edition English Rocket. And you can see here, for anyone unfamiliar with Heritage, 20% um, buyer's premium. So I won this box for 85, 1700 buyer's premium, 10.2K on the Japanese Fossil. 9.9k on the first edition jungle and then 11.4k on the first edition rocket as you'll see below they add on shipping and as it says here sales tax has been applied according to applicable law i'm in new york so my sales tax rate for my county is something like nine or 8.75 or 9.75 percent I'm registered as a business and these were purchased with intent to resell. So I'm sales tax exempt on these purchases, but you can see here just the math behind what my winning bid was leading to the final price I paid. Um, so yeah, that's all there. Uh, I'm interested to see as we work through, I'll just show what the math would look like if I were to break these boxes down to unweighed packs or if I were to break them and sell heavy, sell lights, maybe grade some of the lights. But yeah, so here we are. Same numbers as before. I added in um, all the fees here. I, I dispersed the shipping amongst the three boxes. So if you just did the simple math, there's 60 packs in the fossil box. I'm into those packs to my door for 170.56 per pack. First edition jungle 275, first edition rocket 317. The fees column here, those are PayPal fees. So if I were to sell those the, the way like James used to do and uh, Rusty still does today, I believe like they, they'd sell it through PayPal, PayPal invoice 3.5% plus 30 cents. And then I did $5 for shipping because if I ship it to someone else in New York, it would be 350 maybe. If I ship it to someone in uh, California, Hawaii, somewhere like that, it's closer to five. So just five to be safe. This is kind of my, my break-even sale price on a per-pack basis if I were to sell these as like unweighed packs. If I were to just do a box, box break, sell them as unweighed packs. A um, couple notes just to like compare the pricing. Japanese fossil packs. So these are graded packs here in psa 9 they sell for 200 grading costs a lot more than 18 so that's not really a good avenue if they were to grade that poorly if i were able to grade psa 10s though there's a decent bit of margin there i think the lowest per pack grading um submission available is 100 right now so that's not really a good spot right now at 100 a pack but potentially there's a, a window there in the future where i can grade some of those and and see how they how they pan out on grading and potentially uh selling some japanese graded packs if you look at i didn't include it here but i did browse ebay a little bit earlier i believe so japanese for anyone who doesn't know all 60 packs have a hollow there's no weighing there's no light heavy every pack just has a hollow auctions would end anywhere between 140 and like 200 with, with, with the lowest buy it now being in the 180 range. So I'm essentially into this box for full-blown retail on eBay. <laughs> um, in hindsight, I, I paid pretty well for this box. Um, we'll have to see how it pans out in the future. But if I were to take this like to an event, which, which I do intend to, I intend to go to Charlotte and Denver Collecticons. I'd probably look to sell those like a, a nice even number, 200 bucks a pack. It's not like a complete killing, not, not making a crazy amount. I guess actually at a, at a Collecticon, obviously there's no fees. So I, I wouldn't be going off this number. I'd actually be going off this number. 
that would actually work out to 30 bucks a pack profit. And it would leave room if someone wanted to, to wheel and deal, if someone wanted to do uh, four packs for 750 or something like that, I would have room to come down a little bit and, and make a little bit of a margin. But if I were to sell the whole box for 200 a pack, um, I mean, that's an $1,800 profit cash in person, or it's a $1,200 profit after PayPal fees and everything. First edition rocket, or sorry, jungle, I'm into those for a little under 300 a pack. If you look at light packs on eBay, they sell anywhere between 220 and 300. And then PSA 10 packs sell between 500 and 700. PSA 9s, ill-advised to send things like that to auction. Some of the auctions were ending in the same range as the light packs. I actually, I don't have any graded jungle packs right now or rocket, part of the reason why I bought these two boxes. Um, I do have some graded fossil. I didn't hit any 10s, but I've been selling some PSA 9 packs. I paid 50 per pack to grade them, and I've been selling them in the 350 to 450 range. So not a ton of margin there, but a little bit. Um, and then kind of similar, similar ballpark for first edition Rocket. One thing that's interesting, no one's really graded many of them. I, I, I'd assume the pops are quite a bit lower. Maybe I'll grade a, a couple of each art just to kind of test the waters. I'll, I'll have to consider that and see where I go. But as with almost everything else, my general rule of thumb is like auctions go for lower than buy it now. I mean, it intuitively makes sense because if someone sees $299.99 for a, a jungle pack, buy it now, why are they going to bid $320 on an auction, right? They're going to want to bid somewhere between $220 and $280 to get a little bit of a deal. Otherwise they could just click buy it now on that buy it now. So that's how the math all works out there. In my recent Collecticon recap video, I did mention that I sold three heavy team, uh, team rocket packs. Um, I had them listed for 600. One individual wanted to take all three that I brought with me. In hindsight, I wish I brought more because they probably would have moved. There was a lot of interest in them. I gave them to him for 500 a piece. So just, I don't know which way I'm going to go with these boxes. And if, if you'd be interested, like, I don't think I have the following. I don't think I, I have the ability to sell out an entire box at 300 a pack or at 350 a pack that I'd have to, to, to make any money for jungle and rocket. But the route that I'm much more likely to go because I want heavy packs to bring to conventions is to sell heavy packs either through YouTube or, or at a convention. And then, um, and then sell the lights, either be the low, li lowest listed buy it now. And I'll show you in the next tab in a little bit, like what I could be priced at to be the cheapest on eBay. Um, but this is, so up above is straight box break, unweighed packs. That's what I'd have to get to break even. Down here, if I were able to sell out on my 12 heavy team rocket packs at 500 a piece, that's net after fees. So I'm assuming like 500 cash in person or whatever that would work out to 520 bucks through PayPal. Um, if I were able to clear, that would be 6,000 on the, on the heavy packs. I'd only need to get about 225 per light pack to break even. Again, these are all just break even numbers. So this isn't anywhere into the profit. Um, and obviously the intent, I mean, as a business, operating as a business, you're not trying to, not trying to just do a bunch of work and break even. So keep that in mind with these numbers. I, I'm not necessarily gonna just absolutely try to hit all these flat, but if you do have interest in like the Japanese fossil, because there's no, there's only one way I can go with that. I'm breaking it and I'm selling guaranteed hollow packs. If anybody on YouTube wants to email me, reach out to me on Instagram. If you want to buy a fossil Japanese pack, I'd sell it to you for 180. 180 shipped through PayPal, 170 if you can do like friends and family or something. But just to kind of feel it out, if people want to open down the channel, um, that would be really, it would be cool to get to where I had the following, where I could break some product on the channel. And, and I love opening opening packs and experiencing that, even if I'm not ultimately keeping the the card in the end it's just awesome to open um and then jungle i did the math too i would think like at the event that i was at again i was listed at 600 i sold them for 500 
but I saw some fossil and some jungle being sold in the five to six hundred dollar range, and I'm fairly confident that I could get five hundred per per heavy pack um, on jungle and team rocket, and then potentially through here. Definitely hit me up if you want me to open one on the channel, or like I just won these at auction, so I don't physically have the boxes yet. Potentially, what I could do is I could I could break them on video and put all the heavy ones into a, a sealed like tamper proof thing with a certain ser like you can buy the serialized stickers the tamper proof stickers that have a, a separate serial number for each so yeah let me know in the comments if you have any remote interest in like a $500 jungle or rock rocket guaranteed hollow pack either sent to you sealed tamper proof or like open down the channel if not, that's fine, and I'll I'll bring these along with me to events. Um, and and then for the light packs, I'm probably going to grade at least a couple art sets. Fossil didn't treat me too well with my last uh, pack grading, but I didn't get a single ten. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna give it a shot and try to have like some of the only listed rocket packs on the market. But yeah, these are just all the numbers behind it, how it all works out. Um, down below, I just did some quick, some quick math here. Each one of these numbers is like, if you see someone advertising a box break on Instagram, on YouTube, wherever, these are the per pack prices. And then this is what they're getting for the box. It's pretty basic math to do. I think people do it a lot, but just down here. Yeah. If I'm into this box for 11, for so if I were to sell out at like 400 a pack, that would be 14.4. I'd make about a $3,000 profit. Um, and that's, that feels like a number that people with a big following would be able to successfully break a rocket box at. So in the next, in the next screen, I'll show you, I think we're probably done here, but yeah, if somehow someone was able to sell one of these sets at like 500 a pack, get 18 grand for a box. I mean, they'd be making eight grand on jungle. They'd be making 6,500 on rocket. That would be, that would be quite the payday to be able to do that. So the next tab here, I just wanted to show, I guess if I could quickly go back a tab. So these numbers that like per light pack, what I'd have to get are pretty achievable. Not only are like they achievable, but I could price at the lowest on eBay and still leave a little bit of margin. Like right here, if I, you can see this one's purple because I clicked into it. These are advertised as light packs. If it were me and when it's me selling on my own eBay, I make sure I put light, no hollow, right in the, right in the title so that there's no confusion at all. I've been selling light packs for years. I, I kind of was, I, I've mentioned this before, but years ago on E4, the, the elite forum, um, pack weighing has always been, Years ago, it was more like iffy. Some people were firmly against it. Some people, same with today. I mean, some people do it and then are shady and they sell things as unweighed that are weighed with no chance of a hollow. But I've done it for years since I've been back into the hobby and knew pack weighing was a thing. I've always done it. My route has always been like full disclosure, right in the, the title and description. I price them like they're light packs. So you can see here the cheapest on eBay and I forget who's Gary, maybe King Pokemon, a loose pack is a light pack. Always assume if someone is selling one singular pack, eBay, wherever, a light pack is a loose, uh, a loose pack is a light pack. Very, very infrequently. Are you going to buy one single random listed pack on eBay and have it be true unweighed with any potential for a hollow? So yeah, like the cheapest on on eBay right now for jungle is 280 a pack. The cheapest for rocket is 300 a pack. I included fossil in my search. You can see from my last video, I used the or, the or function with the parentheses. I included uh, fossil just because I, I did break a fossil box last year and I have slowly been selling the light packs. But under the next tab, um, I did just wanna do a little bit of a recap of heritage. So, I'll also show at the end of this video, I'll go to the overhead view and I'll show some cards next to me. I didn't win them in this block, but the, I've won them in, in previous blocks. 
So I sorted these alphabetically just so all the like boxes will be bunched together. But there was some Neo Discovery, I think this is right. Japanese Neo Discovery, they all went between 10.5 and 11.4. Fossil English was actually a box that I targeted. Unfortunately, I didn't win any. You can see one snuck under 10,000 and then the others varied up to 11.1. Um, I really wanted to grab one of these as well, but it's probably better that I didn't because I got the Japanese one. We had Gym Challenge going for 12.6. One thing, like a lot of people talked about this block because there were so many boxes and a lot of people thought the boxes were going to go for like super cheap. But an interesting thing to me is like, I, I think if I had 10 boxes to sell, even if they were all one set, I think generally speaking, you're better off just selling them all at once because what happens is, like when I went through jungle, I bid on, I only wanted to win one. I bid on all eight boxes. Like if, if I could have won all eight boxes for like 30% below market for like seven grand a piece, I would have, I would have won them all. I ended up winning this one for 9,900, but I think a lot of people do that. A lot of people want one, but they bid on all eight. So I put five grand on all eight. I got outbid. So I went six grand. And then at the end of the day, like I watched the auction end. And I took this one, so then I quit trying on the others. But you can see with Jungle, I did happen to get the cheapest box, which I was proud of myself for. Um, <laughs> we'll talk about Rocket next, where I paid, what was it? I paid the, um, I've got it over here too. I paid 11.4. So I got one of the more expensive ones. And I will say, so 11.4, my bid was 9,500 plus the 20% buyer's premium. It was at 8,500. I tried clicking for nine, but my slow internet, a little bit of a lag, someone bid the nine, I bid the 95. I, did, I wouldn't have bid the 95, but like a little bit of a hiccup in my internet cost me an extra 500 plus buyer's premium. So 600 bucks. It is what it is. Uh, I'll be paying for it still. I, I didn't, I tied this guy for the, uh, for the most expensive, I think. Oh, no, no, this guy paid the most. So I was I was in the range. Cheapest one went for 10.5. Highest one went for 11.7. I paid 11.4. Uh, I did try to get a base unlimited box, but I looked at Japanese jungle too. They all went between 10 and 12. Well, 9,612. Base unlimited, they went for 12 to 14,000. Um, tried winning one of those, but didn't get any. As I said though, if someone just had a super low cost basis in these and wanted out, I think selling 12 in one block is completely reasonable. They all went for a super tight range. I mean, they range from 13 to 15,000, which is market value today. So like when all those Neo Genesis boxes went up on PWCC a while ago, they all hit around 20. They all went around market. I, I think I think people overreact and say, oh, they're dumping. Why are they selling them all at once? And I honestly think I'm 50-50 I'm between whether these are at like a short-term bottom and they might bump up from there, or maybe they've got a little ways to head down. I, I'm really not convinced either way. It could go either way. And if you had a super low co cost basis and just wanted to get rid of them, it's reasonable to just take all your profits and, and get rid of them at once. Uh, it's not the way that I'd go. I mean, honestly, I would look to break some, sell some, a bit slower, but it, it's, I think people are overly harsh against that, that tactic when people sell this way. Um, but yeah, that, that's what I've got for the box break portion of this discussion. Next, we will go, as I said, to the, uh, the overhead view, just to show you a few cards that I bought. Again, don't forget for anyone who stuck around, if you have interest, if, if you have interest and, and you'd be a little bit below there, I don't know that I have much room below that, but shoot me a number and maybe I'll give like uh, the YouTube, the YouTube uh, follower discount on a couple packs. I, I'd like to open a couple um, and these aren't available yet, but by the time you see this video, I, I will have paid already and I should get them. Heritage has been quicker. A couple, a few months ago, like in November, I won some lots and it took them like six weeks to get it to me. 
but some of these cards that I'm going to show you, I, I won them like two weeks ago and they're already here. So yeah, that's the, that's the box break portion. I will catch you in the overhead view. So I did want to end the video just showing off a few cards as I've mentioned continually. I've been buying a lot of CGC graded first edition Watsi Hollows because I just think there's a lot of value there. Um, I am a gambling man, so I like to buy into the boxes. And uh, if if they don't sell well, maybe I'll be opening some of those packs for myself here and there. But <laughs> opening packs is just a super fun experience. And I like to be able to take part in that. And I like to be able to offer that because I think that's just a common thing that, that people... I mean, that's what, that's where all the cards come from, right? At one point or another, all these cards were in, in sealed packs. So sealed product was made to be open. I'm doing my part to make that a thing. But these, these, all these cards you're seeing were won like over, over the past few weeks. I don't, I thought I had all the invoices here handy, but I'll just rattle off a couple numbers for you. Hopefully you can see all the grades. First edition, Nido King. Nitto King, 360 I paid for that. The CGC8, 456 I paid for the Zapdos CGC8. And then Magneton, I paid 348 A lot of times when I buy these things, I just like to mentally mentally think, like, what, what am I selling? What am I exchanging for that? So, like, when you look, <laughs> and, and this is, like, probably a bad thing to do, but if you think about it that way, you can buy, like, a a first edition unweighed team rocket pack for about 330 bucks like i just did i just bought 36 of them a whole box worth or you can go and you can buy a base set first edition near mint to mint graded hollow like buying an unweighed pack where you have a one in three chance of getting a hollow a two and three chance of not having a good day it's just crazy value there relatively speaking i mean look at the zapdos i paid 456 that's like roughly the price that I'm going to be selling like 500 bucks for a heavy rocket pack. Heavy rocket pack, you might end up with a dark wheezing. Or you could get a guaranteed CGC8 first edition Zapdos. A <laughs> um, couple more here. So Dragonite. Dragonite's a CGC8. I paid 164 for that. These two, Arbok and Vileplume, both CGC9. So two mint. So, so these are literally two cards that you could get from one of a, the $500 Team Rocket packs. And as most people know, there's a pretty good chance it's not going to be a 10. So there's a pretty good chance you pay 500 bucks, you hit your Dark, dark Vile Plume, it grades a CGC 9, PSA 9. I paid $75 a piece. I paid $150 for the two of those cards. So... Yeah, there's there's great value in just buying the cards that you want over gambling on the packs. But as I said, it's a, a very enjoyable thing, and, and some people are just born gamblers. Uh, I opened a well, I didn't open it myself, but I had that beta pack in in Orlando, so you know which one I am. Erica's Dragonair was 103, and that's an eight, as you can see. Tyranitar was 444 for the nine. Skyzor 152, Scissor, Skyzor. I have no idea how to say that one. I feel like I've heard it both ways, but it's probably Scissor. <laughs> Unknown A was 140. Fortress was, Fortress is buried there. He was 111, and then Magnemite was $91. So again, I mean, Neo Discovery, I don't know what a heavy pack of Neo Discovery would cost. Obviously, people would be hunting the Evolutions, something of that nature. But to get a guaranteed mint first edition Watsi Hollow from Neo Discovery for $91. The value is just insane. So I am buying some boxes here and there, but I'm also making like the more intelligent, the better buys in these single cards in, in every auction as well. So yeah, as always, I appreciate you all watching. Definitely let me know in the comments below if you're uh, doing the same thing, scooping up the CGC value. Or if you hate CGC and you're PSA only. Someday these cards might be available in PSA cases for sale. Some of these 9s might turn to 10s. Some of these 8 might turn to 9s. But <laughs> yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. 
Let me know if you want to buy into any of those packs. If not, no big deal. That's it for today. I will catch you all later.